Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Elida Fieldhouse, where tonight on WOSN we'll bring you a non-conference matchup as the Perry Commodores have made the short trip to the Fieldhouse to take on the Elida Bulldogs. I'm Garrett Seamright, joined alongside Darren Gilbert, who's bringing you all the action tonight here in this non-conference matchup. And our pregame is presented by Lox Chiropractic and Weight Loss. Lox Chiropractic and Weight Loss offers area residents good health through chiropractic care and Gilling looking forward to a, a, a up and down affair. Two teams that want to run the floor tonight. Very entertaining game we're going to be seeing tonight. I talked to you in pregame prior to us going on, and I had the pleasure of having Perry and Elida last year, and I know it was all Commodores, but that's to be expected when Coach Tabor left the program in pretty good shoes as far as he didn't empty the, the cabinet, so no. to speak, and he come over here and he's instilling his system, and it's starting to pay off. You know, they're above 500 right now, right before Christmas break, so uh, he's he's done an outstanding job, and he's he's still instilling the program, but the, pro the progress is being made, and baby steps are going in the right direction. And for the Commodores, they're sitting at four and four, and I know uh, Coach Tucker had to replace a lot of seniors from yeah. that ball club, but uh, they're coming off of a hard-fought 68-62 win versus Hart Northern. And both, like you mentioned, both these coaches in their second year leading these programs, as Matt Tabler was the head coach for a very long time for the Perry Commodores and came over here to Elida. And uh, it, it's, I'm sure, both a, a fun and bittersweet moment to, to coach some of the guys, coach against some of the guys that you, you know, have mentored since they were in seventh grade, eighth grade, things like that. But on, on another aspect, it's just another game where it's a four and four Perry squad coming in to play a four and three Elida squad. Who Elida last year won just three games all season, so to be four and four all four and three, excuse me, already uh, is is an improvement. But uh, certainly want to continue to make those strides that you talked about. Oh, and this is a really good game. Nice crowd tonight on a you know basically three days before the big holiday of yeah. Christmas and. This is a good non-conference ball game for both ball clubs as they soon get into that second half of the season, so to speak, after the first of the year in 2023 as they get ready, ready to, to, you know, play those uh, Friday night league contests. So that's a closer look at tonight's matchup. We're going to step aside, and when we come back, we'll have starting lineups and first half play-by-play -play for you. It's the 4-4 and four Perry Commodores and the 4-3 and three Elida Bulldogs, and it's next right here on WOSA. Our pregame coverage it continues to be presented by Lox Chiropractic and Weight Loss. Lox Chiropractic and Weight Loss offers area residents good health through chiropractic care. Time now for starting lineups tonight in this non-conference matchup between the Perry Commodores and the Elida Bulldogs. First for the visiting Commodores, 4-4. Four and four. And 2-0 in the Northwest Central Conference, their head coach Clay Tucker in his second season. First for, e, for Perry, Elijah Caudill is a six-foot senior forward. He wears number one and averages just over five points a game. Number two is Isaiah Sanders, a 5'10 senior guard. Aiden Simpson wears number four for the Commodores, the leading scorer. Just under 14 points and over seven rebounds tonight. The 6'2 senior forward again wears number four. Zamir Daniel wears six foot. Where's number five, excuse me, is a six-foot senior forward, 10 points a night. And Brady Shively rounds out the starting five for Perry. A 5'8 junior guard, he wears number 22. So the starting five for Perry, Elijah Caudill, Isaiah Sanders, Aiden Simpson, Zamir Daniel, and Brady Shively. And now for the four and three, Elida Bulldogs, one and one out of the Western Buckeye League. Matt Tabler in his second season leading the squad. Their starters look like this. Zori Island's a five foot nine sophomore guard. Seth Sharp is in the starting lineup tonight. The 5'10 junior guard wears number one. Number two for the Atlanta Bulldogs is Tori Thomas, a six foot two senior forward. Number 22 is Bryce Engel, a six foot one senior forward. And David Escorn is the fifth and final starter for Elida. The 5'10 junior guard wears number 31. So the starters for Elida, Zori Island, Tori Thomas, Seth Sharp, Bryce Engel, and David Escorn. And got a fun packed house here at the Elida Fieldhouse on a Wednesday night. Darren? Kids are a little enthused tonight. The student <laughs> section, huh? Christmas break is here. We got three really good officials tonight, too, partner. Yes, we got Clay Ehrman, Stephen McCrary, or Stephen McCray, excuse me, and Bruce Bame officiating tonight's ball game. We appreciate them coming out and working this high school basketball game. As the tip-off is won by the Bulldogs, and Zori Allen will run straight to the hoop. 
Lay it off the window, can't get it to go, and a rebound is grabbed by Caudill of the Perry, but the ball is stolen in the backcourt. Island puts it up, can't get it to go, rebound, still loose, still loose in the lane, and finally scooped up by a boy wearing red, and they'll lob it up ahead, two on one. The other way, Sanders rises, fires, misses everything, but Zamir Daniel, the putback for the first two points of the night. Big offensive rebound by that young man, transferred in from Waynesfield Goshen High School. Adds a little bit of post presence for the Commodores. Island tightly guarded by Isaiah Sanders. And now gets a Sharp on the right way. Sharp drives into that short corner, creates a little contact, throws up a shot off the back iron, but the rebound comes out to Etzcorn. That's a couple extra possessions the Commodores have allowed the Bulldogs already early on in this contest. One minute gone on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard, 2-0 Perry. It's Atzcorn, dribbles at the right hand, right of the center circle, bounces to Sharp on the left wing. Sharp gives to Torrey Thomas straight away, and he'll get back to Atzcorn. Elida patiently working the basketball as Sharp receives the pass back to Atzcorn, working against Daniel. Tightly guarded. Gives in that four corner to Angle. Bounces to Thomas with his back to the basket. Right back to Angle. In that short corner, tries to get to the block. Turns, fires up a shot. Hits every bit of the rim and drops home. Give Bryce Angle two points. Tough shot right there by the young man. Pretty good defense for the Commodores. Enough strength there by Mr. Angle to knock that one in. Perry now back on the offensive end is Aiden Simpson. Stepped on the end line, they'll say. Tried to get a back cut there off of a ball fake, and like you said, stepped on the end line for a turnover for the Commodores. So all knotted up at two, with two minutes gone here in this opening quarter. Sorry Island walks the ball across the timeline, dribbling with that left hand. The sophomore pounces to Angle, has both of the lighter's points, stripped. Caught him. two on one, back the other way. Big block from Torrey Thomas. It goes out of bounds, off of Caudill, and it will go to Elida. That's a heck of a defensive play right there because Mr. Caudill made up his mind he was going to go to the hole with it and got it rejected. And while he was on the ground, the ball rolled off his leg out of bounds. Island attacks the rim once more. Can't get the shot to go. Angled the offensive rebound again for Elida. Lobs it back out to Sharp at the free throw line. Hangs, can't hit. Get another offensive rebound to the Bulldogs. This one by Sharp. We got a hold, I think, number one. Yep, and Caudill grabs the first foul for either squad here this evening. So Elida will inbound underneath their own basket with five and a half to go here in this first quarter on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. Island lobs into Torrey Thomas, back to the basket, working in the post. Double team will put up a shot, dropped it home, but he's called for a travel before the shot. Actually, I think it was a three in the lane, partner. Oh. Mr. Ehrman called a three second in the key. Nonetheless, it's a turnover. It's Island forces a turnover in the backcourt. Foul, no call, actually wasn't fouled, I guess. Well, but the it's young a, man's had some wide open looks at the bucket. Yeah. He just can't get it to go in. So it's five on four for a moment, and that leads to a three for Isaiah Sanders. You can't fault. Zori's effort, though. I mean, he's getting to the rim. That's Corn drives in deep into the lane, bounces to Sharp. 15-foot jump shot off the mark. Rebound grabbed down by Simpson. Commodores work quickly up the floor as Brady Shively takes to the right wing. Boy, his dad would be really proud of him. You know, John was a longtime athletic director that uh, succumbed to that nasty disease called cancer years ago, and it's great to see him out here playing. Ball tipped into the backcourt is Brady Shively, a 5'8 junior guard. John also the baseball coach there at Perry sure for a long is. time. Successful baseball coach there for a long time. As Shively gets in the post as Simpson leans and hits. Nice post up there by Simpson. Elida tried to take the charge, but did, just did not get set in time. It's a 7-2 advantage for Elida. Make it 7-4 as Zori Island finally converts one of those open looks in the, in the low post. He's had many looks, hasn't he? Yes. Hey, Mal. Got two on the board there. Makes it 7-4 halfway through this first quarter on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. This time, Zamir Daniel drives base, drives to the baseline, and he's got four early points. Really nice athletic move to the basket and finish strong. 
Island out his pocket, picked Brady Shively coming back the other way. It's three on three, and he'll pull it back out. Give to Daniel. Contested three put up by Sanders. Left it short. Torrey Island grabbed the board. And he's fouled underneath the hoop by Elijah Caudill. I think that's his second. It is. But Caudill. Can't fault his effort, though. He went, he went after it. He's got both of Perry's fouls. There's Epps corner and Engel will step off the floor for the Bulldogs. That brings in Amari Wash. And Camden Howard in for Elida. Zori Island, the sophomore point guard, walks the ball up the floor for the guys in white. Elida looking for a bucket. Island at the free throw line, drives to the window, throws another one off the window and down. He's got four points of Elida's six. Yeah, if Perry continues to let him go with that strong hand, he's going to do some serious damage in the paint area. Three minutes to go in the opening quarter. Backdoor pass to Shively along the baseline. He'll walk it back out. Gets a cutting Daniel. He's fouled on the shot attempt, and Zamir Daniel will shoot the first three throws for either squad tonight. And then Howard, I believe, got him across the arm. First foul committed by Elida, so the first foul committed by Howard is Daniel, a 52% free throw shooter, steps to the line. Nothing but net on that one. Coming in averaging 9.4 points a game, 3.7 rebounds for, like you said, the six foot senior. Not bad if you're averaging nine points and now at five here in this opening quarter as the rebound comes down to Thomas. So he'll stay at five points on a missed free throw. There's Amari Wash, jump stops at the right block. And a foul committed by the Commodores. They got a hand off on that. Andrew Hanchoff, Nanchoff, the 5'7 uh, junior guard in the ballgame. As Howard goes straight to the bucket on the inbounds. And Amari Wash got the put back up and good. Another second opportunity for the home ball yeah. club. They converted that one. That's at least four offensive rebounds here just in the first quarter for the home Bulldogs. And it's Perry with a two-point advantage as Shively tightly guarded by Wash along that sideline. Gets to Daniel working on Thomas. He'll give straight away to Jason Thomas. Had his pocket picked by Torrey Thomas. He'll pick up the basketball and give to Seth Sharp. And with two minutes to go here in this opening quarter, Elida will reset, looking to tie or take the lead, trailing 10-8 on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. Yeah, first couple concerns right now Coach Tucker has. You can tell he's being a little vocal with them. It's the turnovers and missed box out situation. And there's there another see. one. The offensive rebound, Thomas rises, fires, left it short, and it'll go out of play. Matt Table just said to Tori, hey, let's play within ourselves here. Didn't like the shot selection there from the 6'2 senior. Yeah, the big fella rushed it just a little bit. If he'd got his feet underneath him, I think Coach Tabor felt a little bit better. Can't fault the effort to big another big offensive rebound. 90 seconds to play in this opening quarter. Perry, the two-point advantage in the basketball as Aiden Simpson jump stops at the elbow. Can't hit. Rims out on him as the rebound comes down to Howard. Island pushes up ahead. Escorn off the window. Couldn't get it home. And a rebound. Grabbed by the Commodores. Out of bounds. Off of Brady Shively, though. And it'll go to the Bulldogs. Engel and Tanner Roberts check in the ball game. Seven. Tori Thomas and Zori Island will take a seat for Elida. That Nanchoff number 12 appears to be right. Like yes. Shively just went out. Yeah, they're bringing in Caudill with those two fouls here. Coach Both. Tucker's got enough confidence in him. We approach one minute to go, and they'll play a little zone defense, probably trying to avoid Isaiah or Elijah Caudill picking up his third foul here at the final minute of the first quarter. Good point. That's Gordon. Wash. Angle in the high post to that far corner to Howard. Double team cross court pass to Etzcorn. 
Bounces to Wash. Wash will put up the three, and Elida has the lead. Great ball movement there, side to side, using the skip pass. So five points off the bench for Amari Wash has given Elida an 11 10 advantage here in this first quarter, and Elijah caught it. He'll travel with it. Picked up the dribble, went to give it to Aiden Simpson here in this corner, and instead walked just a hair, picked up that pivot put, and with 36 seconds to go here in the quarter, Zori Island will sub back in. Camden Howard will take a seat on the bench. Potentially, Elida holding for the final shot here. Be interesting to see what they do here. Looks like Perry's going to stay in their matchup. Let's see what they're. It looks like a matchup. Let's see as we enter the uh, mid court stripe here. Wash fakes leaving it off for Island. In the high post, teardrop floater. No rebound to Sanders. Long outlet pass up ahead to Nanchoff. And he'll give to Isaiah Sanders. Sanders drives. Hands gets down low to Caudill in the lane. Hangs, can't hit with the left hand. Got his own offensive rebound, though. Aiden Simpson pump fakes on the three, drives to the block off the window. That's a nice move from the sure senior. Was. Last year, he did just tuck, took and threw that three-pointer up there. Island at the gun, drops it home. And Elida leads after one on the three by the sophomore. Zori Island finishes the quarter with seven, and we played one quarter of action. Bulldogs lead Perry 14-12 here on WOSN. Tonight's premier sponsor is John Stocker DDS. They're the premier sponsor for the Atlanta Bulldogs, providing dental care for high school sports fans. 14-12 after one quarter of action. Zori Island scores seven of Elida's 14 points, including a three at the horn, to give them that two-point advantage. But I think the the story of that first quarter, turnovers and offensive rebounds for both sides. Uh, turnovers and offensive rebounds, and I'm sure Perry has a concern because Zori had a bunch of layups he missed. He could have possibly double digits right now, so they've got to share some things up defensively if you're the visitors. Three ball on the way, off the mark for Perry, and we got a very hard collision to the floor here. Brady Shively, the injured Commodore, hit the back of his head off the floor here. A scary situation. We'll step aside 15 seconds into the second quarter here on WOSF. Tonight's timeouts brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Glad to see Brady Shively leave the floor under his own power. It's always scary when you get those go up for a rebound and come down awkwardly or come down hard and hit the back of his head here on the court at the Union Bank Court here at the Elida Fieldhouse. But luckily, Brady doing all right. Yeah, he's over there sitting beside Coach Hurst, and he's keeping an eye on him, making sure everything's... He's, he's holding his head right now, but he appears to be aware of his surroundings, so to speak. So we'll get back at it here as the Commodores, Aiden Simpson has it in the short corner, rises, fires, left it short. Rebound comes down to David Ed's corner of Elida. Lob pass up ahead to Zori Highland. Island attacking the rim once more. Jump stops in the lane, leaves it off for Thomas, but he's blocked from behind by Simpson. Good blocked by that young man. Again, dribble penetration by Zori with that left hand. If he can get into that pain area, especially around the block, they could do some damage interior-wise. Island looks to inbound, bounces to Angle. Quick shot off the inbound. No, got his own offensive rebound, though. Angle in a, the land of tall trees, stripped. And the Bulldogs still have the basketball. Howard, or excuse me, Wash lost the handle on it. And Daniel comes back the other way. Kicks out the Nanch off. Gives straight away to Thomas. Jason Thomas. Jump stop by Sanders. Good job by Elida cutting off the dribble drive. Aiden Simpson isolates on one side of the floor. Floater, and he drops it home. Nice body control there by the big fella, taking the ball to the basket aggressively. And the no call on the block charge as Island rises and fires. Again, an offensive rebound by Elida, but it goes out of play. It will stay with the Bulldogs, but we've seen those offensive rebounds have just been killer there for the Commodores. Yes, they have. 
All knotted up at 14 with 6.40 to go on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. As Engel will hit the bench as Seth Sharp comes back in for Elida. Yeah, Torrey Thomas had his hands on the last one. He just made a big boo-boo as a post player and brought the thing down below his waist. Island jump stops in the lane, creates a little space and drops it home. Again, there's that left-hand dribble penetration with the strong hand. Give the lead back to Elida at 16-14 as we've alternated. Daniel creates contact, spins, picks up the dribble, gives to Sanders on the right wing. He'll try to drive, and a foul committed by Amari Wash is first. Just the second foul committed by Elida here in this first half. Three on Perry. As Eden Simpson looks to trigger it in. Bounces to Daniel. Oh, Stripped nice by hands. Island. And it goes out of bounds off of Daniel to go to Elida. That's nice a nice play. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Nice deflection and bounced it off of Shawnee's player there out of bounds. 16-14. Bounce pass to Wash on the right wing. Surveys, jabs, puts it on the deck. Stripped. And a foul committed by the Commodores. Is that Narchoff, Nanchoff? Nanchoff, Andrew Nanchoff, second. Yes. Camden Howard re-enters the game. Amari Wash takes a seat. Wash with five points off the bench. Two minutes gone here in this second quarter. Perry nearly had the steal. Island gets it back, fouled on the shot, and Zori Island will shoot two free throws. Five nine sophomore guard. Zori Island stands at the free throw line waiting to make his attempt. 79% at the charity stripe for this young man. Elida is shooting 75% as a team this year from the, at the charity there from the foul line. Which is a number we don't we don't see that high too often any longer. No, it's a lost art. The mid-range game is a lost art anymore. It's either behind the arc or all the way to the rim, and that includes free throw attempts. Second one doesn't go for Island. He's got an even 10 points tonight. The last foul was on number 10, Jason Thomas, the six-foot junior forward for the Commodores. Ball goes out of bounds off of Perry, so it stays with the Bulldogs. Yes. Island gets it, the basketball on the inbound, bounces into Howard. That scored at the top of the key. Yeah, he had a big night. The WBL went over Kenton, scoring 12 in the fourth quarter. He had some big shots for Elida in that victory. Perry gets the steal. Elida steals it right back, and it's stolen away by the Commodores once more. As Zamir Daniel tight ropes the sideline, and a foul committed by the Bulldogs. On the drive. I think that's on Seth Sharp with a hand check. That'll be his first. Third by Elida. Five and a half to go here in this first half. 17-14. Bulldogs with the advantage on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. Out of the inbounds, a big shot from Isaiah Sanders. <laughs> nice little five. down screen action right there by uh, Zamir Daniel to free him up for that little... Floater. That foul committed by Sanders after the main basket gives Perry six fouls. So the next one will send Elida to the free throw line, still with 5.20 to go in this first half. Sharp inbounds along the near sideline. Etzcorn takes the inbound pass. And he'll hold the basketball. Bounces to Sharp. Sharp gets in that far corner to Howard. He'll go straight to the rack and drop it home. Yeah, he made his mind up. He's going to the hole with it. He did. 19-16 to lead now for Elida. Simpson thought about the three from the corner. Instead, we'll take the mid-range jumper and hits. Isaiah Sanders, that's, you know, he's not going to get credit for that for the points, but what a screen. Torrey Thomas gets the ball underneath the hoop, and he makes his first basket of the evening. Lead continues to be three for the Bulldogs. 
Nice rim run there by Tory Thomas, the six foot two senior. Island picks up his first foul. That's the fourth committed by Elida. And Amari Wash comes back in as David Unscored will find a spot on the bench. Commodores looking to inbound with Isaiah Sanders holding it. Top of the key to Nanchoff. Put it on the deck. Elbow to Daniel. Thought about the three. Jabs. Instead of Commodores working around the perimeter. Simpson left it short. Rebound comes down to Island. Behind a back pass there by the sophomore. Spins in a lane. Cross court pass to Wash. Baseline drive. Floater is good for Wash. He's got seven points tonight. Very quiet seven. Nice job with the jump stop right there. Getting his man in the air. Nanchoff too strong on the three point attempt. Rebound. Corralled by Tory Thomas. Dangerous pass. Lands in the hands of Zori Island. Island to Wash for three. In and out. Offensive rebound, though, stays with the Bulldogs. Good job by Thomas getting his hands on that, keeping it again. Another second possession for the Bulldogs. Island working with his back to the basket. Baseline drive, scoop shot, no. Rebound grabbed by Caudill, and then a foul committed by Zori, his second in about as many minutes. Yeah, Coach Tabor's talking to him right now to get him into an offense, just be a little more patient. That's your financial services timeout called. We'll take one as well. 3.33 to go here in the second quarter on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. 23-18 Elida out of the Investor Financial Services timeout. And Elida continues to crash those offensive boards, Gilly. It's just, it's gone really, really well for them in that aspect tonight. Well, it's it's coming down to, you don't want to say it's a well-played game because <laughs> it hasn't been, but it's two teams that are battling exceptionally hard and, and making each team work for everything they can get. Danchoff stepped on the sideline. So it's a turnover by the Commodores out of the timeout. Yeah, a little half-court trap right there by Elida. And like you said, Nanchoff stepped on that sideline over by Coach Tabor. Island lobs to Howard. Hands back off to Island. The sophomore with 10 points dribbles back out as we approach three minutes to go in this first half. Amari Wash. Sharp will set up for three straight away. No. Long rebound, and Nanchoff will watch it go out of bounds and ensure that the Commodores get the basketball. Smart basketball play there by Mr. Nanchoff, letting that thing go out of bounds. Commodores, much better job keeping Zori out of the paint right there. Last couple possessions containing that basketball. Isaiah Sanders to the inbound. And will work to the near sideline, gives to Aiden Simpson. Holding the basketball high above his head, surveys that defense. Gives back to Sanders, tries to get it down low to Caudill, and it's stolen away by the Bulldogs. Island thought about the three, instead gives that score. He'll drive, lost the handle, ball stripped, and it lands in the hands of Perry. Ball's loose once again, it's stolen away by Wash. To the window, can't drop it home, but Amari Wash will shoot two free throws. Yeah, I believe that's on Elijah Caudill right there, and if that's the case, that's number three. It is his third, and that now puts Elida in the bonus. They'll shoot free throws from here on out. First free throw from Omari Wash off the mark. Freshman playing some valuable minutes here tonight for the Bulldogs. Tanner Roberts subs back in for Elida. It's almost like both teams right now, partners, like got that extra gear going and they're forgetting the basketball in the yeah. process and, and a lot of turnovers. Second free throw, Wash missed them both, and the rebound comes down to the Commodores. Sanders races up the sideline. You see it exactly what we're talking about there, and that's a charge. Oh, they'll call it a block. And we got an injured Commodore as Sanders hits the deck. A little step aside. 23-18 with 2.22 to go here in the third quarter on WOSN.
Time out tonight brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Glad to see Isaiah Sanders get up and under his own power and believe oh, he's going to stay out of the ball game as Nanchoff will take the free throws instead of Isaiah Sanders. That's a scary situation when you go flying into the air and you know that the only place to come down on is <laughs> hardwood. Right, is either wood or uh, another human being. Yes. Nanchoff's first free throw on the way and off the mark. Keeping the score to five point advantage for Elina, 23-18. There's Nanchoff, the five foot seven junior. Stands at the line. It's Commodores. will send another substitution. 2.22 to go in the second quarter. Nanchoff makes the second free throw. Commodore's coming in shooting 54% as a team from the charity strike. Big play there made by Tanner Roberts. Went right through the heart of a Perry Commodore. No call either way, but the basketball comes back to Perry. Jason Thomas rises and fires off the back iron and drops it home. Nice little mid-range 14-footer from Thomas Two from minutes. Simpson. Two minutes to go here in the second quarter. A two-point lead for Elida at 23-21. As Etzkorn thought about the three, tripped. And Etzkorn shoot the front end of a one and one. Thomas called for the foul. He's second. Pretty good free throw shooter to step to the line for the Bulldogs at 74%. Etzkorn, a 5'10 junior. Played a lot of minutes last year. For the pair for the Bulldogs. And hits the first front end of the one and one. That's his first point of the evening. He lied a three and twenty a season ago, already four and three here in the early going before Christmas action. 24-21 on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. Second free throw attempt. Is up and good, and that's scoring. He's got them both. Sanders, just Simpson. Tightly guarded in the Sharp. corner. Yeah, really good job, didn't he? Contained the basketball and shut him off. High ball screen. Sanders in a lane, bounce pass to Daniel off the window and down. Samir Daniel has seven points to cut that lead back to two. 90 seconds to go here in this first half. Engel tightly guarded out near the mid-court stripe. Gives to corn. Bounces to Wash. Still holding the basketball. Gives to Etzkorn. He lied up patiently. As Etzkorn drives straight to the hoop, can't get it to go. Etzkorn slow to get up. It's five on four for a brief moment. It's Commodore's throw. And Jason Thomas is fouled. By Bryce Engel. Or oh, they'll give it to Etzkorn. That's his first foul. And that is the seventh foul as a team by Elida, so Perry's shooting free throws from here on out as well. Jason Thomas at the line, the six-foot junior forward with two points on the evening. Give him three on the main free throw. He was on his way to the other end, wasn't he? <laughs> He's got another one coming. Yep. And he hit them both. Nicely done by the Commodore. So we're tied at 25. As Sharp holds the basketball just inside the three-point line. Hands to Wash. Wash spins. Bounce pass in that far corner for Howard. Pump fakes on the three. Teardrop floater for Howard is good. Howard. Nice job by Howard not to create that contact and bring up a blocker charge call. Gives Elida a two-point advantage with 35 seconds to go in this first half. We've got to travel. We've got a moving screen. Yes, and it goes against Thomas. Slightly limping. Yeah, that's not a bonus situation. That'll be a side out. Common foul. So 33 seconds to go here in this first half. 
He lighted the two-point lead of the basketball. There's Wash, dribbles between the circles, working on Thomas to the left. Bounces to Island. 15. Etzkorn to the window, lays it home. He tried that the last possession, just got a little bit out of control, much better body control there and finishing the play. Seth Sharp called for the foul as the Commodores inbound deep into the front court to Isaiah Sanders. I think they got Sharp right there with the reach. His second, he doesn't like it. Wasn't a popular call for those wearing black and orange. Sanders at the line once more. Yeah, if he'd have went straight up instead of through somebody, I think he'd have been okay, but he was not vertical with his hands. Sanders an 80% free throw shooter. That one too strong and a rebound comes down to Howard. With four seconds, Island from half court at the horn, and he got it! Zori Island for the second time tonight. Hits a buzzer beating three. He's got 13 points at the halftime break. That one from half court. And we've played one half of basketball. Elida extends the lead to seven at the horn. We'll step aside, come back with our locks, Kyra Brack, and weight loss halftime report. And we'll do it next here on WOSN. Time now for our Locks Chiropractic Weight Loss Halftime Adjustment. Brought to you by Locks Chiropractic and Weight Loss. They provide our halftime adjustments. They offer area residents good health through chiropractic care. Taking a look at some of the first half statistics, Zori Island leading all scores with 13 points for the Atlanta Bulldogs. Three of them coming there at the halftime gun as he hits from half court. He's only made two threes and they've both been buzzer beaters. Yeah, he got one at the end of the first quarter and then the to end the half, he hit one just inside the mid-court line. It's going to be interesting to see what that does for the confidence level for the leading Bulldogs who got that thing to seven and what kind of communication is going to take place in the Commodore locker room because you know ebbs and flows in this game and Perry playing on the road, that could be a big bucket for the Bulldogs you know, going into this third quarter. No, absolutely. And we take a look at some other halftime statistics here. Uh, 12 turnovers by Perry and 12 offensive rebounds by the Elida Bulldogs. Those are probably two numbers that Perry head coach Clay Tucker is not thrilled with here at the halftime break. Well, and how many more possessions or shot opportunities do you get? Well, let's take a look. Perry shooting a respectable 53% from the field, but only 19 attempts. And you take a look at Elida. They have 33 uh, attempts from the field, converting 13 for 39%. The shooting percentage for Elida is not real good, but when you give a team 14 extra possessions or shot opportunities, that spells disaster more times than not when you look at the scorebook. Yeah. So it's time now to do our Lox Chiropractic Halftime Adjustment. Brought to you by Lox Chiropractic Weight Loss. They offer area residents good health through chiropractic care. And Gilly, how do you stop Zori Island from getting to that left hand? And how do you limit the offensive rebounds there if you're the, the Perry Commodores? Well, we know it's all hard in rebounding. You just got to keep communicating with the kids and say, kids, we cannot give up 12 rebounds, whether it be this game or game 21, because if that's the case, we're not going to be really successful. As far as Zori, the two guys I would have to probably contain the basketball, if you're Perry, you'd have to contain the left hand of Zori. And I think you really got to set on, I thought Etzcorn played really well the second quarter when they got Zori the blow, but he likes going to that left hand, right shoulder. So if I'm Coach Tucker, those would probably be two adjustments along with telling your kids to take care of that basketball and protect it like it's a piece of gold. Because if you do that, we can get more shot opportunities and. You know, seven points is the three-possession game, Garrett, and, and we got a lot of time left. So that'll do it for our Lux Chiropractic and Weight Loss Halftime Adjustment. We'll step aside, come back with third quarter action here between Elida and Perry on WOSN.
back here at the Elider Fieldhouse. Third quarter about to get underway. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Darren Gilbert. Danny Holbrook was supposed to be the play-by-play -play announcer for tonight's broadcast, but unfortunately over the weekend, Danny lost his mother. And our condolences to the entire Holbrook family from everyone here at WOSN as they laid her to rest today. So thinking of Danny and Julie and his entire family is... Yes, we are. Well said, partner. Get back here to third quarter action between Elida and Perry. Original starting five on the line on the floor for the Bulldogs. And Zori Island steps inside the three-point line, gets a scoop shot to drop, and Zori Island has 15 points after that impressive bucket. Found his way to the rim, didn't he? It's the first thing we talked about in the Lux chiropractic halftime adjustment is trying to limit that for Perry and didn't get it done there on the first offensive possession, but Aiden Simpson responds with a bucket of his own to give him 10 points here in the ball game. Island quickly down the lane, shot altered by Jason Thomas and a long rebound. Comes out to Perry as the Commodores playing five on four for a moment. As Zori Island, the injured Bulldog, And we'll step aside with 7.04 to go here in this third quarter. Seven-point lead for the Bulldogs on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Zori Island able to get to the bench underneath his own power. It's, it's the third time tonight we've had an injury stoppage here right in front of us as the ball stolen away. Poutlet pass up ahead to Caudill. He'll lay it off the window, and Elijah Caudill has his first bucket of the night. Yeah, he started that with the deflection there at half court. Nice play by that young man. Amari Wash straight to the window, and give Amari Wash two more. He's got nine. Perry quickly back the other way. Caudill with three fouls gives to Thomas. The high point and gives to Isaiah Sanders. Points out the pick he wants from Zamir Daniel. Tried to get it to him. Caught it with his back to the basket in a high post. Backdoor pass off the mark. And Simpson couldn't convert. Tough angle, right idea. Just a tough angle to get that to go home. Amari Wash back straight away. Mid-range jumper, no. Rebound is still loose. Finally corralled by the Commodores. As Sanders crosses over in a high post, and he's called for the charge. Just got a little bit out of control, and a first foul of the half by either squad. It goes against Isaiah Sanders. And yeah, Mr. Engel sticking his nose in there, taking the charge. I believe that's two of them he's taking tonight. So just over, just under, excuse me, two minutes gone. In this third quarter, it's a seven-point lead for Elider, 36-29. Perry going to full-court diamond press. Bulldogs getting up ahead of Torrey Thomas, going straight to the rim. Instead, will stop and pop. Can't hit, and the rebound grabbed by Aiden Simpson of, e of Perry. Long outlet pass and a collision between David Etzcorn and Andrew Nanchoff. And Etzcorn called for the foul, his second. A lot of contact going for the basketball. Could have went either way. Official saw it as Commodore's going to get possession of it, and Elida made the first initial contact. Lob to Simpson, poked from behind by Sharp. And Elida forces another turnover. Wash straight down Main Street, swatted by Simpson, but a block by Nanchoff. And Amari Wash will shoot two free throws after the foul committed by the junior. That's Nanchoff's third foul. Something to watch for the guy coming off the bench for the Commodores. He's sitting with three, and so is Caudill. First free throw attempt from Wash is up and good, giving him an even 10. Young man's had a great night, hadn't he? Yeah, he's got been assertive with the basketball, been aggressive. Wow, Left freshman. that one short, but Torrey Thomas, the offensive rebound, stripped here along the baseline, and it stays with the Bulldogs. 
Nice having a 5'9 sophomore guard, and then you got Mr. Wash as a freshman. Coach Tabor on the inside's got to be laughing a little bit, <laughs> smiling. And Camden Howard dribbles it off his foot, out of bounds, and I don't go to Perry. Because I don't care what you say, partner, there's a huge difference between freshman basketball, JV basketball, and varsity oh, yeah. basketball. And you know, they're they're getting acclimated to varsity basketball. And by the heck, by the end of the year, they're going to be a, a, a tandem to reckon with in the backcourt. And then an errant pass from Perry is another turnover by the Commodores. So we've traded turnovers here. And uh, when Elida puts it together, Gilly, they're, they're going to be a mm. very, very, very tough out in the final stages of February and in the tournament if they stay healthy. Where And they've ro they're rotated in, you know, seven or eight guys. Uh, they've played, played a lot of guys and uh, are athletic. They've shot the ball really well. Zori Allen has been assertive as Seth Sharp will rise and fire from the free throw line. Nothing but net for Seth Sharp. And that's his first basket of the evening. Pretty, pretty pull up, 15 footer, mid range, knocked it down. 10 point advantage, the largest of the night for Elida as Thomas hits the deck in the lane, landed on top of the basketball. And a jump ball call and a possession arrow favors Perry. Mr. Sharp with a deflection right there. That's Corn. Just keeping an eye on Perry's bench the other end. Looks like Aiden Simpson's holding that left shoulder. It's been a physical one here tonight. Sanders looks to inbounds. Threw it to Daniel. Went off of him, and he's got it back. Under five minutes to go in the third quarter. Daniel, leaner in the lane. Hits every bit of the rim and drops it home. Soft touch. Zamir Daniel with nine points. Zori Island might have traveled. Close, huh? <laughs> That's Gorn. Works to the right wing. Bounces to Sharp. Looking to get it to Thomas in the post. Instead, will drive base on himself. Back-to-back -back buckets for Seth Sharp. Nice power move. Squared the shoulders. Took it up through his face. Banged it in. Ten-point lead once more for Elida. Stolen away by the Bulldogs is Island. Foul by Sanders. His third. Again, there's another turnover that's going to lead to a possession for the Bulldogs. Mari Wash comes back in the ball game as David Escorn finds a seat. Sharp gets it into Howard. It gives right back to Sharp. On a four-point run of his own, tightly guarded by Caudill, his fourth. So still with a quarter and a half to go, Elijah Caudill has picked up his fourth foul. And conceivably, he's going to find a spot on the bench for quite a while. So Seth Sharp inbounds for the Bulldogs, leading by 10. They get it in to Island, creates a little room, and Zori Island has another basket. Protects that shoulder really well, doesn't he? And gets that up there. Five foot nine really goes over, not afraid to shoot it over the bigs. Sanders for three, no. I think that's Engel with the box out. It'll be just his first foul in a dangerous position there underneath Zamir Daniel. Luckily, everybody's all right. So the first foul committed by Engel. See, I didn't hear anything about Jackson Cobalt. Did he? He, he broke his nose against Spencerville a few weeks ago. Had to go to the hospital, get it reset. Okay. And it's still working his way back as Isaiah okay. Sanders hits. He's got seven. But yeah, Cobalt is another player who's going to help Elida eventually here, but has to make sure you don't do any more damage to the old sniffer. And Good. Jason Thomas just picked up his fourth foul, so a couple of Commodores here in pretty decent foul trouble. Well, Coach Tucker's trying to find a nucleus of five that can get some flow, ebb and flow into this game right now, and he's having a difficult time, especially when your leader's on the bench. Nursing injury, he's going to try to come in and play with it. Let's see how he responds. Zori Island again, 19 now for the sophomore. And he picks up a foul. His third. He got a hip in there, didn't he? No hands, but that hip 
impeded the movement of the Perry basketball player trying to dribble to the baseline. So the Bulldogs will send in David Atscorn to give Island a rest and to make sure he doesn't pick up a fourth foul here quickly. 12-point lead for the Bulldogs. Simpson on the block. No. Wash climbs the ladder and gets the rebound. Good job contesting there by the Bulldogs. Seth Sharp. No. Looking for his sixth point of the quarter. Instead, a rebound comes down to Sanders. Commodores push. Nanch off. The high left point working against Etzcorn. And that far corner to Sanders. Tightly guarded by Wash. Nearly shoved him out of bounds. Under three minutes to go in the quarter. Aiden Simpson points to the spot. He wants his teammates to go. Amari Wash picks the pocket. And Wash lays it off the window. And Amari Wash now with 12 points off the bench. And a Metzger Financial Services timeout called by the Perry Commodores. will step aside as well. 2.40 to go in the third quarter. Bulldogs lead on WOSN. John Stocker DDS is tonight's premier sponsor for the Elida Bulldogs, providing dental care for high school sports fans. Elida with their largest lead of the night so far, a 14-point advantage, 47-33 over the Perry Commodores. Bulldogs 4-3 on the season, while Perry 4-4, four and, four, and after the made layup by Amari Wash, Aiden Simpson will have free run of the baseline. Elida picks up full court. Thomas gives to Nanchoff. Working against Edscorn. Nanchoff at the free throw line. Can't rattle at home. And Camden Howard gets the board. Great job by the Bulldogs in transition. Price angle. The bucket. Tell you what, strong. Elbows out. Up through the face. Nice power move. Sanders to the window. Trying to draw a foul. Didn't get it. The Bulldogs quickly back the other way. Seth Sharp has his sixth point of the quarter. And now the lead has grown to 18 for the Bulldogs. And a Metzger Financial Services timeout called by the Commodores. We'll step aside once more. 149 to go in the third here on WOSN. Timeouts tonight brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. The lead has grown to 18 for the Elida Bulldogs as they lead 51-33 with just under two minutes to go here in this third quarter. And we've really seen that lead start to grow here over the course of the last two minutes or so here. Yeah, they're just taking the basketball and being relentless and taking the ball. They're not flipping it to the rim now, the Bulldogs. They're taking it up with two hands and strong and and trying to draw contact, but they're making everything that they put around the bucket. So Perry trying to claw back in. As Isaiah Sanders gives to Caudill straight away. Caudill playing with four fouls. Samir Daniel hands off. Caudill for three. No. Rebound to Wash. 90 seconds to go in the quarter. Wash looking to make it an even 20-point lead as he gets to Engel. In the high post, and a three-second violation. You know, we were talking during break. You know, it, it's almost like a carbon copy. You know, Perry has had Terry, you know, Riley and Bubby Knight and Will Knight. We're starting to see the same version a little bit over here at Elida with some young kids, and then you throw Etzcorn in there as a junior. So, a very bright spot for the, the guard positions coming up for these years to come for the Bulldogs. Oh, and they're going to have a lot of varsity basketball underneath yes, their belts. Yes, they are. As Sanders goes to the window and a block committed he gets by Sharp. Sharp. His third. And that will be the fourth foul committed by Elida with just exactly one minute to go on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. And you made a great point during the break, too, and I'm going to share it. I would not want to play Elida come February. No, I mean, and you can see that they're getting better even already here in December compared to 
you know, they scored uh, 24 points last week against a very good Ottawa Glandorf squad um, where, you know, they struggled in the second game of the tip-off classic as a free throw missed there by Perry to, to put the ball in the hoop. They don't have that problem tonight. They don't have the problem of not being able to find the bottom of the net. Well, if you have questionable guard play against Elida. It's going to be a long night. It's going to be, <laughs> yeah. It could be a very long night because they just put a, a tremendous amount of pressure on Sanders makes the second free throw attempt. He's got 11, or excuse me, he's got eight. As he line up quickly up the floor, that's scorn. Teardrop floater after scooping up the basketball and give him six points. And we've got an injured Commodore. Not sure if he got poked in the eyeball. That's what I'm wondering if it was an inadvertent on the follow through or an elbow, one of the two. It's Aiden Simpson is the injured Commodore with under a minute to go. And looks like we got a bloody nose situation. We'll step aside, 47.7 to go in the third quarter here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. After the lengthy delay, got to get the court all cleaned up as somebody made Adrian Simpson leak a little bit on the floor, but we're all squared away, and it looks like he's being taken care of on the Perry bench. So under a minute to go here in this third quarter, 53-34, Bulldogs with the lead. Perry the basketball. His Nanchoff dribbles past Torrey Thomas. We'll walk it back out with 35. Perry potentially holding for the final shot here. Oh, a little one-three-one action here by the common or er, by excuse me by the Bulldogs. Caudill with four fouls dribbles into the high post. Ball's loose. I think they and got Howard with the reach in. Camden Howard, his third, is the fifth committed by Elida, giving both squads five fouls. Going back to appears to be man to man. 20 seconds remain on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. Nanch off on the right wing. Thought about letting that three fly. Instead, gives to Caudill. 15 seconds to go here in the quarter. He'll lob to Daniel with his back to the basket. Turns, faces, working on Thomas in the lane. Drops it short. Five seconds to go. Amari Wash with two. Jump stops. Fires up a shot. Can't get it to go. And we play three. 53-34, the score on the Web Insurance Agency score board will step aside. Fourth quarter action coming up here on WOSN. Fourth quarter about to get underway. Bulldogs with the lead of the basketball. And it falls loose, stolen away by Perry on the inbounds. And the ball's loose once more. Seth Sharp tries to rip it up, and instead it goes to Zori Island. Island three on two, bounce pass to Etzcorn, blocked by Daniel. Sharp. Oh, nice up and under. Tried to get it up, couldn't get it. Ball stays with the Bulldogs after Caudill out ran through like a Mack truck, but it will stay with Elida. Some great hair on the on the floor tonight, Gilly. That's it. You got some, some, I don't know who's got the best hair on the floor, but I wish I could get mine to look like yeah, that. No kidding. Zori Island looks the inbound, bounces to Etzkor. It's a screen from Thomas. Etzkor goes straight to the window. And the ball goes out of bounds. This is about the third time. What if I can keep these? <laughs> That's the third time I've got my hand on one tonight. I think I could run out I'll of say, here. Start haggling for it. I'll yeah, see, we'll if see I ran out of here, I'm sure I'd get caught. Officer Murphy at the other end would catch me. I like your chances. The ball's tipped away on the inbound by Zamir Daniel. And it goes to the Commodores. Caudill, cross court, pass to Nanch off in the corner. Simpson back in the ball game. Nose plug at all. As Sanders goes to the window and gets the bucket. Pretty move, little dribble behind the back. I really like what Coach Tucker did during that injury. 47 seconds to go. He's talking to his kids saying, you know, let's go. 
let's get back to playing Commodore basketball, regardless of what the score is. And I think you've seen that this first, first 52 seconds of this fourth quarter. A little miscommunication there by the Bulldogs. Zori Island was unsure who he was supposed to be guarding. Looks like he's going to find a seat on the bench for just a moment. The next dead ball. There's Seth Sharp will ranks up the floor. Finds Etzcorn at the block. Double teamed. Passes out of it. Angle. Etzcorn Island. Good job by Daniel defensively in the post just walling up. Zori Island splits a double team. Bounces to Angle. Triple teamed. Stripped. And grabbed by Caudill and will stay with Elida. Good hands on this trip by Caudill. That's the one you got to secure the basketball and get those elbows out and get the basketball underneath the chin. Don't let somebody swipe it from you. And official said it went off of him. Washing the game for Island. Six and a half to go. Elida with a 17 point lead on 11 insurance agency scoreboard. Wash to Etzcorn. Thought about the three. Instead, gets to the lane. Floater, no, tip back out. It'll stay with the Bulldogs as Thomas corrals the loose basketball. Young man's had a big, big night on the glass. Wash from the free throw line is good. Got 14 points. Yeah, it's hard not to shoot that one when nobody's within five feet of you at the foul line. Nice strip there by Sharp. We'll see what he does with it. One of the end one instead. Sharp fouled. Will shoot two. That's on Caudill. That might be his fifth. That is. That is on against Elijah Caudill. So he is fouled out of the basketball game. He'll step out with two points. Coming in, he was averaging right about 5.3 points a game, five and a half boards. That's sent Sharp to the line. It's the first. Sharp had six points there in the third quarter. So that's the first point he has scored outside of that stanza here tonight. 79% from the charity strike. Got that one to go as well. So the lead, 19. Sharp pressures the inbounds, falls loose, and it finally bounces out and will go to Perry. Torrey Thomas tried to chase it down along this sideline. So Aiden Simpson looks to throw it in. And Isaiah Sanders will walk the ball up the floor for Perry. Sanders gets a high ball screen from Daniel. One of the pick and roll. Instead, ball stolen away by Angle. Island fouled by Sanders, his fourth. I think he got one in the eyeball there, too, inadvertently. Island will shoot the front end of a one and one. It looks like Sanders struggling at the bench as Amarion Jackson comes in the game for Perry. Island looking for his 20th point of the evening. Another excellent free throw shooter, 79%. 22-point lead for the Bulldogs. Well, we hope those kids that have sustained some bumps and bruises and injuries tonight, especially, you know, Brady Shively, yeah. he appears to be in his sweat outfit down there on the bench. We hope he comes back and it's nothing too serious with that young man. Commodores in the post. Daniel can't hit. Got his own offensive rebound, though, and a foul. Zamir Daniel. Yeoman's now. work right there, partner. Yeah. Went after it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Took it up strong. Got the old and, and one. So Daniel now with 11 points. Looking to make it 12. Long rebound. Comes out to Elida. Sharp. Hands off to Island. Approaching five minutes to go. And a ball game. And a 21-point lead for Elida. That's Gorn. 
Bounces to Island. Gives to Thomas. Sharp in the corner. Looking to lob to Angle. Can't get there. That's Gordon will fire a three off the front iron. Rebound to Island. Straight up, blocked by Simpson, but Thomas cleans the glass and drops it in. Johnny on the spot, the young man. Simpson spins, can't hit, but is fouled. And that will be the seventh foul committed by Elida. So Simpson will shoot two, but Perry will shoot one and one from here on out. Appeared to be Howard with the foul. Simpson left that one short. Young man coming in averaging 13 and a half points a game. Darn near his average. 7.3 rebounds. Played a big part in their success last year, partner. Left that one short as well. Thomas, the rebound. Island pump fix. Shot altered. Thomas creates some room. Can't hit. Nanch off the rebound. The ball's loose in the lane. And Daniel is fouled by Island in the backcourt. Mr. Thomas did everything right except make the basket. Yeah. I mean, he went after it, was aggressive, jump stopped, used his body to protect himself, and just couldn't knock it down. Yeah. Shielded a defender, created a little room, because he was a bit too deep underneath the bucket mm -hmm. to try to put up a put back, but created a little room, and you're right, did everything but. Dropped it in the bottom of the cylinder. So we'll get some perspiration mopped up here from the floor. His elbow grease getting used right there. That's young pup was putting in some work. A lot of sweaty young man, uh, men out there on the court tonight. Daniel at the free throw line. Keeps it at 61-38. That's going quickly up the floor. No call on the block or the charge. Off or defensive rebound grabbed by Simpson. Euros. No. Tipped out to Atscorn. Atscorn will race up the floor. Spins. Blocked. And Atscorn hits the deck. And David Atscorn will step to the charity strike. Coach Tabor still coaching him up. Under four minutes to go here in this fourth quarter. Thank you, Thank you, so Etzcorn, a 74% free throw shooter, toes the line. Currently sitting at seven or six points on the evening. Make it seven. He's one of those kids you got to keep an eye on because he's one of those rhythm shooters, and when he gets in a groove, he can really shoot it. The 74% free throw shooter makes 100% there, and that scoring's kind of he, he's, he's uh, I'm going to take what you can give me. If you're going to sag off me, I'm going to rise and fire, and if, you, if you're going to come out, I can probably turn the corner on you and get to the hoop. He does the little things, you know. I haven't had a chance to watch him a lot. But just watching, you know, tonight's contest and other, you know, other times on films and highlights, he just does the little things. Nothing flashy. Aiden Simpson walks it back out. Manchoff thought about the three. Instead, Daniel has it at the top of the key. Backs back out, working on Thomas. To the window, Thomas tried to draw the charge, couldn't get it, almost got the rebound, laying on the floor. Instead, Seth Sharp grabs it, and a jump ball points towards Perry. Yeah, Seth Sharp's had a really good night also for Elida. 14 yep. points for Amari Wash, eight points for Seth Sharp. And then you got four points from Thomas, four points from Camden Howard, and 21 from Zori Island for Elida. So you get the... And that's where the gap started when Wash and 
in Ireland started yeah. to really carry themselves in the third quarter. The shot at halftime was, you know, obviously big for the Bulldogs and sort of a backbreaker, so to speak, for the Commodores because of it, instead of being at a four-point game, it extended it to seven, and the light it just went from there, and that's when Wash decided to take over in the third quarter. Nanchoff. Put up the mid-range jumper, can't swirl at home, but he gets the offensive rebound. Has to throw it back into play. Establishes himself. And under three to go, Perry has the basketball. Daniel drives and hits. Nice move by that young man, high and soft off the glass. Zamir Daniel, 13 points to lead the way for Perry. Wash works in front of the Atlanta bench. Bounces to Howard. Sharp, baseline drive. Thomas clears the way, and Seth Sharp has another bucket. Got one on the right side tonight. Got one on the left side with the power move. He's got an even 10. 25-point advantage for Perry, for Elida, excuse me. Daniel working against Thomas. He's got to like the balance scoring, huh? Oh, absolutely. I'm sure if you tell Matt Tabor, hey, you got a guy with 21, a guy with 14, a guy with 10, he'll take that every night. Daniel to the window. No. Ball's tipped in the air. Thrown back into play. Nanchoff. Mid-range jumper. No. And a foul committed by Simpson. Great sportsmanship there by Aiden Simpson. Just his first foul, too, by the way. Yeah, it appears he's had some injuries with that shoulder because he does have some yeah. form of a shoulder harness on. So, so Elida will clear the bench a little bit. I'm sure it's probably tough on that young man to raise his arms above his shoulders, yeah. but he's, he's trying his best to play through it and help his ball club as much as he possibly can. Camden Howard at the line. Howard with four points on the evening. Rebound comes down to Jason Thomas of Perry. Simpson at the top of the key to Thomas. Puts it on the deck. Nanchoff thought about that three for just a moment. Gives to Amarion Jackson. 25-point lead for Elida. So bounce to Simpson. Camden Howard called for the foul. You'll see a couple more Elida Bulldogs check into the ball game. Howard got caught right there, reaching in the cookie jar from the back side. Isaiah Judkins and Parker Krim in for Elida, as well as Evan Jackson, Omari Wash, and... Looks like Travis Adkins. Now we watch Mr. Krim in the J JV contest, and you want to talk about a solid built young man. I think he had 23 or 25 points in the JV game tonight. He's only a freshman. Free throw made by Simpson. Second one off the mark. Goes out of bounds. We'll see which way that points. It goes to Perry. Eben Jackson, sophomore into the ball game. Just under 90 seconds to go. Travis Atkins, a junior. Amarion Jackson with the basketball for Perry. Thomas hands to Simpson. Thought about the three. Jackson straight away. Gives to Simpson. Baseline drive. Got the hoop and the foul. Aiden Simpson, 13 points. Looks to convert the old-fashioned three-point play as he steps to the line. One feet Judkins on the foul. Simpson, a 48% free throw shooter. Hits that one. He's got 14. Exactly one minute to go on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. 21-point lead 
for Elina. You can hear both sides saying, don't foul. Play out the string here. This Travis Atkins hands off to Judkins. Judkins has it nearly out of his pocket pick by Amarion Jackson. Atkins straight away with 35 to Judkins. Tries to dribble behind the back. Amarion Jackson with a steal. Nice play by that young man. Quick hands. Simpson for three. No. Krim the rebound. And that will conceivably do it. 15 seconds to go. The Alada bench on their feet. And the Bulldogs will dribble it out. Elida victorious tonight over the Perry Commodores. Final score, 65-44 on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. We'll step aside and come back and name our Stolly Hustle Award winner tonight. Bulldogs win, 65-44, here on WOSN. Back here at Elida, wrapping up a 65-44 win for the Bulldogs over the Perry Commodores. And it's time now to name our Sally Hustle Award winner. And Gilly, I think that you got, you got plenty of options tonight if you're the Elida Bulldogs. It's, it's almost difficult to name a Sally Hustle Award winner. I agree. So we're going to give our award tonight to Tori Thomas. Thomas had just four points on a night where Zori Island had 21, uh, David Etzcorn had 14, Seth Sharp had 10. Tory Thomas, just the four points, but he had 11 rebounds and six of them coming on the offensive end. It was a big story there in the first half and was a big reason why they had a, a whole bunch of points here tonight. Four steals. More and, importantly, did not foul the whole game. I mean, just a, a solid performance by that young man along to go with the rest of, of the ball club. I mean, just a solid win for uh, Coach Tabler and his staff. And I know this is one that it's going to feel good, you know, coming up. I think Friday night he's got New Bremen on yep. the schedule. Yep. And we all know what New Bremen's capable of doing. But, uh, you know, Coach Tucker and his situation, I mean, he had to replace an awful lot of talent last year. He had some guys get dinged up tonight. I didn't think they quit playing. I thought they kept playing. They played hard. You know, they're coming back next Tuesday against Walpock. And you, I know you've had Walpock before. Coach Elker does a great job yep. in his preparation and yes, scouting, sir. so that's going to be a heck of a game, especially down in Redskin territory. So Tory Thomas is our Stolly Hustle Award winner. Check out the WOSN YouTube page for highlights of tonight's winner. The final score tonight, Zori Island scores 21 points to lead the Atlanta Bulldogs to a 65-44 victory over the Perry Commodores with the win. Elida now 5-3, while Perry drops to 4-5. For Lexi Waddle and Cassidy Driscoll, and our entire WOSN crew, and for Darren Gilbert, I'm here at Sea Line saying so long, and we'll catch you next time right here on WOSN.